Hello there my fellow YouTubers, this is Simply Tutorials and just like the title says I'm going to show you how to animate in Autodesk 3D Max 2016 Now I've used 2009, I've used 2010 and I jumped to 16 and they're all pretty much, for this tutorial, they're all pretty much the same so don't worry if you got an older version or you got a newer version Now I cannot vouch for anything under 2009 but anything above it for the most part it's going to work for this tutorial so okay. hope you um enjoyed this video let's go ahead and get started first of all we're going to animate we're going to go to standard primitives and we're going to put a uh, sphere and we're going to just just make a cool sphere we're going to move it to the center which we're going to go down to the x at the bottom and we're going to zero each one out if it isn't already Therefore, it's dead center. That's how I like it. Okay. And the cool thing about what we're going to do is we're going to make this orb spin with the torus around it. Which the torus is basically like a giant tire. Best way I could put it. Okay. Make it kind of skinny right there. And again, we're going to move it to the center. Okay, let's move it to the center, zero, zero, there we go. That way it looks all pretty, but we're going to change the color though, because we don't want them both green. So we'll just go with like a red, there we go. Now we can distinguish the two from each other, relatively easy. Okay now, what we're going to do is we're going to go down to this keys button right here, and we're going to hit set key. And what that did is, if you move that away, it put this right here. This kind of like a, it, it's a key. And you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. Then we're going to go to auto key. This is like freaking every animator's, if this wasn't invented, who knows what animation movies we'd have out now. Probably take forever and a day to do. Anyway, we'll go to 50. No, we'll go to 100. And we'll hit key again. Therefore, the both images on the exact same, I mean, are the same on each end. And we're going to go to 50. And this is where we're going to click on the rotation tool. And we are going to rotate it. Let's see. Where do I want to rotate it? Right there. That'll work. Get it more precise. We'll go 90. And 90, never. Now you'll see that how it rotates, and then it rotates back. We're gonna hit. We're gonna click on this one. Realistic. And boom, we're gonna click this button here in the corner, which maximizes the viewport that is selected. Therefore, you get a full screen, and we're gonna hit play. Now, that is fine and dandy, but we want to make it a lot more interesting. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and click on the sphere. Add a key. Add frame zero. Go to 100. Add a key, like we just did. And then go to 50 and make it huge. And you click on the perspective viewport. Uh, perspective right there. So we get a nice good 3D angle. And make it kind of big as the torus. And you'll notice it goes back being small. And then we're going to hit play. Now that's a nice looping animation. Now you can do this with anything. You know, it's really cool, but the fact is, is that you put a, a key at the end and a key at the beginning before you do anything in between for a good looping animation is very important. That Therefore, you ain't got to try and adjust the size and all that stuff later. It's just way easier. Now, granted, you could easily copy the X over here and put it down, but why would you do that when all you got to do is just move it to the end and hit the key button? 
But anywho, this is my first tutorial for this channel. I hope you enjoyed it. There is more to come, especially with audio, Autodesk. Um, I'm learning how to use this program, and the more I learn, the more you'll learn. So, I'm not saying I'm learning it as in I'm new to it. I'm learning as like every time I learn something new, which this isn't new to me. I just figured it'd be a good starter video. Um, every time I learn something new to me, I will pass it on to you because I know there's a lot of people out there that can do this, that have a passion to do this. They just have no one to show them how to do it. And like the name, the YouTube name says, simply tutorial. Um, I'm here to make it simple and easy. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, rate, subscribe would be awesome. And um, like I said, I got more videos coming. So you can, if you subscribe, you'll see them. More 3D Max tutorials. So I look forward to those. But, you know, more tutorials in general. If you have any suggestions, there is a comment section below where you can leave me a comment. Or you can hit me up in my freaking messages on YouTube. I'm going to be setting up a Facebook page maybe for this. It depends on if how far it takes off. But I guess I'll see y'all tomorrow.